Dobson with the puck, but harassed by Artemi Panarin. Pulled it free, got it back. Panarin for Trocek. Trocek pops out, takes Ooh. a short side shot. Hugging right. the post with Sorokin. He just got his left shoulder on that. Good position then. Foxes jumps down off into the corner, grabbed by Noah Dobson. He'll take it backhanded ahead. Fox takes over in the neutral zone, and the Rangers on the attack again. Here's Panarin from the left wing. Panarin shoots in a blocker save from Sorokin. A couple of chances on this shift for Trocek and Panarin. Yeah, both chances on the short side trying to go high on him. Fox creates another turnover in the neutral zone as Capo Caco beat up by Ajo. Sent around for Wenberg. What is his sixth game as a New York Ranger? Lindgren walks, shoots, save, rebound, kept alive, punched out of the air by Sorokin. A chance for Wenberg, cleared away by Sezikis. Pajot to Barzell. Barzell knocked off his stick by Gustafson. Barzell on it before it left. Barzell from the slot, dished over. Pajot skate to his stick in the backhand, hit the apron of the goal. Took too long to develop, and Panarin kept it in. Bullock went down as he got the stick in the skates from Panarin as the long-range shot from Keandre Miller turned aside. Aaron Stick actually got lost right in the skate blade of Ryan Pollock. They got all tangled up. He was slow getting up. Scrum for the puck along the boards. Popped out. It's Panarin. Braden Schneider. Cross now here for Panarin. Popped up, turned over. Rangers in a change. Nelson with some space. Brock Nelson shoots and it's punched out by Shesterkin. First test of the game is a good one for Shesterkin. Side, but it better save another one to the stick side. And there's that blocker I was talking. Rangers coming in again. Bronzinski with a step on Noah Dobson. Bronzinski got it to the forehand, and as the shot was stopped, it helped back to Sorokin. He hangs on. What a start. And the first five shots of the game. Good pace to this first period as well as Rothwell that carries in. Takes the shot. That one ramps off the stick and around the glass. Call was made by Kelly Sutherland. Kelly Sutherland, Brandon Blandina are the referees today. They also refereed yesterday's Islander game against the Ottawa Senators. Yeah, watching that game, I saw Horvat wasn't happy with the call late. Nelson with a great feed, and they score! Bo Horvat from a tough angle. It'll go down as a shorthanded goal, and the Islanders take a 1-0 lead. As you can see, he's on the hunt here. Now he slides out to an open area. Wonderful play by Brock Nelson. How he put that puck just above the goal crease right there. The goaltender doesn't nullify the pass across. Fox doesn't nullify it across right there. And he catches everybody by surprise with a brilliant pass. And even a better release. That drop pass comes out of the zone, and Panarin will circle back. Artemi Panarin flips it wide open. Save Sorokin on Trocek. Went two for five, but scored twice on the power play late in the game with the net empty. Barzell comes right in and rings the bell of Shesterkin. Pass ahead for Goudreau. Shut down by Adam Pellick. Goudreau across for Jones with Rude operate. Take the shot, drags in. Backhand punched away by the blocker of Sorokin. Islanders a minus 22 in the second period. The Rangers are a plus 20. Just a one goal differential to start it on a shorthanded goal from Bo Horvat at the 14.08 mark of the opening period. Roslovic centers to Batajev, scores! It took just 27 seconds and the Rangers tie the score. And there's the dump in. And it looks like the Islanders are in good shape. Little miscommunication, little off the mark. And because of that, one pass by Roslevic, Roslevic right on the tape in the high slot. And boy, does he beat him cleanly under the bar and in high to the glove side. Goal today here at home. And Zabanejad in his 22nd of the season ties it for the Rangers. It's just Durkin left the rebound. Pajot a couple of whacks. Lee couldn't tap it home. Ben Aaron to the net along the ice. Steered away by Sorokin. Lafreniere and Pellick. Last time these two teams played, there were 79,600 fans in attendance to watch it. Pass ahead. Here's Will Cooley with a break, and he scores! Will Cooley found himself alone, beats Sorok, and gives the Rangers the lead. What a shot by Cooley. But this play by Fox goes to his partner, and Lindgren right up the guts of the ice right there, and this shot here, Watch the goaltender's glove and pad. He thinks it's going up high, 
His glove goes high, it goes low. You can see the way he lifted his glove. And Cooley had already picked his spot. Clearly the goaltender thought it was going to go high. It goes over the pad and under the glove and in the net and doesn't touch any part of his equipment. Came free to Ryan Pollock. Both down below the goal line. Nelson and Miller. Paul Mary finds the puck. Using the boards. Riley as he's backing off. Put it to the net and they score! It popped out. It's Bo Horvat for the second time in the game. And the Islanders tie the score in two. Well, this is all credit to Bo Horvat on the faceoff. But he stays with it. Follow Horvat there. Strong stick on Kreider. Then Kreider just has to shovel it to the point, which he probably could have managed that a little bit better. But I think it's a, it was a hard stick there of Horvat that caused him to do that. And then with the rebound, I don't know how he saw this puck. Watch the way he finds it right here on Goudreau, and his stick is between Goudreau's legs, and he fires it into the empty side of the net. DeAndre Miller lost it to Nelson. Exchange, though, with Horvat sends Brodzinski the other way. Let ahead for Wenberg. Wenberg has Brodzinski driving the pass. Ricochets away from the net. Miller pounced on it. They score! Brodzinski got a stick on the drive from Miller, and the Rangers answer right back. Just a minute and six seconds after the others had tied the score. Ended up to the side of the goaltender's net, but Brodzinski again. Good heads up play. He's done a ton of great little things in this hockey game. And this shot ends up going on the skate. There on the bottom of your right was Ajo. You saw that he did lose his balance and go down. Miller just lets it rip, but look at the strong stick there from Brodzinski. Not an easy one to handle, but he, oh my goodness, the right angle. It goes between the elbow and the side of the body. Past the goaltender. Gets that one through for an open Gustafson. Steps one wide of the net. Oh, he just missed. High to the short side. Gustafson still down low in the offensive zone. Wrapped up by Engvall. Rangers able to come, get a couple of changes in the offensive zone. Coppo jumped up the board and he scores! Coppo Kako walks off the wall and gives the Rangers a two-goal lead early in the third. It keeps going around, around, Gustafson gets it, Engvall battling him, but this is too easy. And this face-off is as a result of an errant pass by Ryan Pollock and turned into an icing. Yeah, and now the Rangers work into the offensive zone. Off the air shot, produced the rebound. Corvette just asking if it's a follow-through on the play. Centering feed, left from Yer, scores! Panarin with the setup, left from Yer with the finish, and it's 5-2 Rangers. Coming out of the corners and taking it to the tops. There's a one-time play, and it is perfectly executed. To a left-hand shot for a one-timer, and I, I think I think Panarin's going to have more of that juice that I've got here beside me, <laughs> as he just went, so told me to fill it up. Gains the line, the drop pass for Trocek, quickly moves towards Jones. Quickly to Trocek, off the post, over the shoulder of Sorokin. That ties the Florida Panthers for the best mark in the National Hockey League as they beat the Islanders 5-2 here at the Garden.